This is gonna be just a quick update. I got some uh, good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad news. A bunch of reports came in yesterday, including some questionable people. I think you probably know which groups they're working for, uh, who were putting spikes or nails on some of the roads coming into Ottawa to prevent the trucks from coming in. Hey guys, this is a convoy from St. Jerome to Ottawa and they're putting nails now on the ground so we can't get through. Show me the nails. Look at this, buddy. Show me the nails. Montrez-moi les clous, les gars. Montrez-moi les clous. Checkez tous les clous qu'ils mettent à taille. Ils mangent à l'arbre. Ils mangent à l'arbre. Ils mangent à l'arbre. Ils mangent à l'arbre. Because listen, most of them still aren't in Ottawa. Most of them are surrounding Ottawa. There are right now farmers opening up their fields and letting people park their trucks in those fields. There are kilometers and kilometers and kilometers of highways just clogged with trucks right now of people trying to get down to Ottawa. And there are some blocked streets in Ottawa. The police and the government uh, are trying to limit uh, how many actually get into the downtown core. And then all surrounding Ottawa, it's just a mess right now. So there's that going on. There's a lot of people that you aren't seeing in the footage because they're not even in the city yet. And they're trying to get in. The good news is the organizers of this convoy had their first press conference yesterday and they didn't invite any of the mainstream media. In fact, they, they simply denied the mainstream media. We have all the time in the world. This is also why we omitted uh, certain news agencies, and I should, guess I should cover this, from this press conference, including the Toronto Star and CBC who were banned from this press conference. And the reason they were banned is twofold. First, this entire week, uh, the CBC, Toronto Star, Yahoo News was retweeting and reposting a few others, kept sending, putting stories out that our GoFundMe was frozen or suspended because of nefarious reasons. Right-wing truckers, you know, that was the dangerous people. And it was hysterical, me and Tamara were talking. Mm -hmm. I remember one day when the Toronto Star story came out that GoFundMe has frozen the account and I called her and I said, is everything okay? She's like, yeah, I just got off the phone with them 45 minutes ago. They're great, they're helping out, they're things to be sorted out. That was purely, purely just a fake story. And it was that fake story to sabotage uh, the donations that were coming in? Probably. We'll see a lot of that in media. And then when the Toronto Star put that that uh, cartoon uh, that Jordan Peterson put up, that, that sort of extremism, we're not going to tolerate. Uh, and they held it at a uh, undisclosed location in Ottawa. You really should watch the whole thing. The link is in the description below this video. Go click that, sit back, crack a beer and watch it. It's, it's important. One of the big revelations that came out yesterday is the organizers apparently have enough funding to keep the trucks on Parliament Hill for two to four years. So those of you thinking they were just going to drive there and honk their horns for a day and leave, like I told you that wasn't the plan a week ago. And uh, they said it was never that. They said from the beginning, they're going to go there and they're going to set up camp and they're not leaving until demands are met. And a massive convoy of truckers has now also blocked the Canada-US border in Alberta and they are staying put as well. The government is a little bit in panic mode. I was watching Parliament today and uh, it's pretty much all they were talking about. Prime Minister Sockboy uh, Blackface went on uh, TV again today and basically did the same thing as before. He just went and insulted people standing up for their freedoms and just repeated the same tired, discriminatory talking points, the same segregation he's been pushing for two years, the same divisiveness. This, 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 I, I don't even have words for him. He is so loathed in this country. I, I have a hard time finding anyone who actually supports Trudeau. It's funny because he calls us the fringe minority, but his government was elected with around 30% of the vote. Don't get me started about our electoral system in this country. His administration literally is a fringe minority government. Make sure you subscribe and also subscribe to me on Rumble because Rumble is a free speech platform and hey, it's Canadian too, so we got to support them. In the description below, keep on trucking the free world, everyone.